Hello there, boys and girls. Elton McFall here uh, with my good buddy uh, Ben Norman there in the back. Yeah, and uh, we're in the Long Bay, uh, a part of the south shore of Montreal, off the island of Montreal, in the greater Montreal area. As you know. Look at this old garage behind me. Right? Oh man, she is not young. And uh, Ben already showed me an old car there in a driveway. I said, oh man, that's it. I gotta do a walking video because already we've seen a, another thing. And then there's a motor home, and like I better start over and and. And look at look at Ben looking all cool with his blackness, his black shades there, and his hair's almost black. Ready to go, ready to go. I was actually mentioning, if you don't mind, my last video about how uh, how you're buying a car actually. I'm buying, uh, well, buying a car. I bought the car. <laughs> yeah, that you bought it. That yeah. you that the the wheels are in motion. You know. Tell not to get, get people get an idea of what car I bought. I'm sorry, guys. I'm an idiot. I I didn't mention what street we're on. We're on the Rue de Jean Yep. West. So that's uh, that's important to know, actually. Look at this, ain't they? Look at this beautiful sign they made for this. Just a normal, old-looking building. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that must belong to a dentist there, one of the doctors there. The new Z4 controversially platform sharing with the new Toyota Supra. That's beautiful. That's a very cool, eye-catching blue. Look how wide that thing looks, man. It's almost got like a supercar quality to it. After the DHL truck. Oh, dude, that reminds me. Here, uh, point at me for a moment. Point at Take you? Over for a oh, okay, sure. Look what I got in the mail. I thought it was my uh, my sample t-shirt. This. Hey, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, it's upside down. Put it right. <laughs> Again, buddy, whoever you are, there uh, got a bit more that. character than a plain mask like mine. It's just a white one, like uh, no, and it breathes better too. You know. Oh, there you go. Thank there you. Go. No problem. All right, let's keep moving along. Now, watch this, guys. This, you know, I was filming in an area before, very dull. I kind of almost regretted it. Just not very interesting. No interesting cars at all, except for a couple of big pickups. And look what Ben told me. He saw. Look at this. Can you believe this? Those of you guys are in North America. This was a failure. They didn't sell a ton of these, and there was a hatchback version. I don't know how the hell this thing survived it's from the early 90s. Absolute pieces of junk. It's really an Opal with a Pontiac name. Incredible. And then look at this here. Look at this old um, huge motorhome here. It's even got the same type of mirrors you see on a bus or a fire, fire engine. Probably from the 90s, I'd say. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, it was a piece of crap. Just, just to laugh at it a little bit, you know, to find out what, what they what they share this. Uh, once again, another working class neighborhood there, much like the other one. Except, of course, compared to the other one, there's there isn't any old apartment buildings really. So. It is. Yeah. What? Davu Le Mans. Are you serious? I'm serious. I thought it was an Opal. Oh my god. Oh, oh wait, the Pontiac Daewoo Le Mans was re a rebadged variant of the Opal Cadet. The Opal. Opal Cadet, man, that name goes back to the 50s, man. Oh, that's what it was. It wasn't an Opal. Sorry, he's right. It was a Vauxhall Astra. That, I was trying to think Astra or something, yeah. It's funny because a few years ago, Chevy actually just rebadged the Astra as a Chevy Astra, but it was also a Vauxhall Astra in Europe, specifically in the UK. Incredible that car survived. It's like finding a Lada. Like I said, it no, barely sorry, survived. Sir, sorry, you're more likely to find actually a Lada Neva than that actually. So there's another old Pontiac down there somewhere. It's been sitting... Uh, no, not Pontiac. What am I saying? It's a Volvo. It's been abandoned in a parking lot down there. We'll see it eventually. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to film this for, well, you know. Case, tacking on at the end. I know we're walking towards your work there, but... Uh, Slowly but surely. Does it go directly? No. No, it's, it's a, a bit of, north. A couple of yeah, it's a bit no, yeah, it's a Look bit. This must be Italians who live here. Look at all this forestry here and landscaping is quite uh, elaborate. Oh, I filmed an ambulance responding before. The last time I walked through here, parked right in front of this church, was a, a Karma Rivero, otherwise known as a Fisker Karma. I thought you were going to say a Karma Gia. No, not Karma. Oh, for Fisker Karma, yeah. There's a very rare sighting. It's, and, and it's the newer, it's the new one, the rebadged one, which are even less common. Rebadge. 
really bad to purchase the, another company purchased the design and kept it. You know what's funny, eh? Is that since it's gotten cooler now, it's not really hot anymore. The lens on my camera is not jamming like before. Exactly. It's the goddamn heat that affects the damn thing. You know? I almost feel like saying it's a piece of junk, but it's not. It's just it's the only it's actually only the only flaw with it really. Uh I mean seriously, uh ruff, 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 ruff. I'm incorrigible. Very <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah, mind you, actually, uh, my walk on uh, De Chambly was much more interesting than uh, than uh, that that area behind it. That's like, yeah. yikes! You know? De Chambly is a more uh, is a much more bustling street. You know? No, no, it's not just that. It's because a lot of these old businesses, you know, old buildings. Oh and, yeah, that too. And, and, and but it's a lot like Tasho. It's a, it's a it's a provincial route. It's Route One Twelve. It is. Yeah. I didn't know that. You can take that all the way to Chambly, to actually Chambly. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. <laughs> Look at this beautiful... This is what's known as a Canadian house. This is what's known as a Canadian design house. Yeah. I don't know fucking why. Je sais pas. I guess because of the way they did the roof. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. Hey, buddy. And, uh... Well, since you're not checking the side streets, I will take my lens and look for the oldies. I'm always looking for oldies on the street. No, I don't see anything fantastic either. Now she's still jamming a little bit, but not slightly. Wow, that's a bank? Yeah, Come on. Okay. How the hell did that happen? We on, don't want to, we on, don't. Jesus. Unreal. Crazy. Crazy. A few drops, still, a few raindrops still falling down. Nothing major. Actually, I gotta, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it out until later, until rush hour, because I gotta feel if I get closer to. To Tashro, I could. I got one ambulance responding. I could figure I could probably get two, three, four a total. Then I got a whole video right there. Because in Montreal, believe it or not, I haven't filmed an ambulance responding yeah. in two weeks. I think. Well, there's also another hospital in Longueuil down, down on. Uh, on uh, there is. Jacques I think it's called the street. Oh, yeah. I saw that on the map, Jacques Cartier. Yeah, it's a, it's parallel like this. It goes I'm like, like out this. The name of the, the hospital right now, though. But it's, uh, Pontiac Astre. Oh my fuck. Astra. Oh, Astra. Astra. No, no, it's Astre. No, it's with an Astra. E. It's said Astra. Ah, you're probably right. Wikipedia is generally right. Generally. Wikipedia. I know, I check all, I know, I check all the time, Wikipedia. You know, I remember one time, though, on one of these side streets, like, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, not perpendicular. Is it perpendicular? Like it's still the same. Perpendicular is following. It's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah, it was closer oh, no, to. No, parallel, parallel. Uh, closer to Saint Charles, there was a Toronado from the 80s. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Except hey. yeah, it's parallel. The perpendicular is across. Ah. Uh, but this is actually uh, a pretty nice Toyota Tacoma. That's nice. I like that. Look at the color on that. It's yeah. cool. That's it's fucking cool. sweet, man. PRD 4x4. You know what? I think I'd probably take that over any Dodge Ram. That is fucking yeah. sure, man. Nice. Probably I like the reliable. color. It's different. More it's reliable. got that safari thing with the whole color and the black uh, rim, big tires. Yeah, it's, and it's reliable. It's balls dead on reliable. Well, knowing you, maybe one day that's what you'll move up to. You'll move up to some sort of V6 power Toyota or something, you know? Yeah, I don't think it would be a pickup, though. I'm not a pickup like No, no, not a pickup. No, I know you're not a pickup. No, no, I'm, I'm not really either, either. I'm uh, frankly, uh, I like all vehicles, but I mean. Okay, walking a little fast, a little faster. I'm sorry, like fucking I'm, I'm, I'm like really. I'm wired to walk fast. Are you able, let me ask you something. Are you able really to scan all that and be able to see the furthest all the way down there to see if there's anything special? Okay, all the way down there, you might want to use your... Aha! You can see well, but not necessarily well. I see an old Accord. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 93. I can't really tell the condition though. I can't tell. I don't know. Uh, I don't really feel like going up there to find out. It's not like they're rare yet, you know? There's a DHL truck. Yeah, it's the same one that passed before. <laughs> when we're, gonna, when we're looking at the, right before the Pontiac. I told you that's the company that delivers uh, the stuff from Teespring, you know that? Yeah, I find, oh, yeah. yeah, well I found out through I found out through Dave, the, my friend who bought a yeah. whole bunch of stuff from me. Yeah. Well from Teespring and uh, and by the way guys if I if I didn't mention it, uh, what? 
votre style. Yeah, my style. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's it's in English. But he said, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I forgot to mention. I like that color, even though I don't like the Corolla. But um, uh, yeah, guys, if I know I mentioned it before, if in case you're not, we don't watch all my videos or whatever. You don't catch up to all of them. Uh, it's been two weeks now since I. I started a Teespring uh, online store selling retro old school merch. It's really cool. And what makes it really cool and exclusive, because I'm going to warn you, it's not cheap, is the fact that all that stuff, well, for one thing, like I said, it's only been running two weeks now. So, uh, you know, today being uh, the, what are we, the 26th? Yeah. 26th of uh, August, 2020. So all these shirts, mugs, hoodies, uh, stickers, even masks, they all feature my retro old school Oh, oh my god, that's a vintage Land Rover Defender right there. Wow! That looks like a, that's an ex-ambulance. Probably British military. Very cool. Wow, that's awesome. I'm to take the camera out to see a quick shot of the front end of it. You should, that's a classic, man. Anyway, uh, uh, sorry guys, I'm trying to, I got, uh, then his neighbor has a Jeep, go figure. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'm trying to, that's the problem when you do these walks. I get very distracted very easily, but... Uh, uh, check it out. It should be an ad for the uh, the link showing uh, some of my wares there. Like I said, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, masks, uh, all this stuff. But what's cool, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to spit it out, is that all this stuff shows uh, um, artwork that I've done over the years, whether it's drawings, paintings, and there'll be much more to, to come that I'm going to put on the t-shirts. I'm really proud of this. It's a big deal because I'm going to be 45 at the end of the year. And because of, I guess, the, the stupid bipolar or coinciding with laziness I I feel like I have to catch up in uh, in being more of a success in my life you know instead of being broken all that and sitting on a gold mine of artwork you know that is a beautiful machine I'm gonna stop here a second guys good great that's great man yeah well it's not like you and I can get together easily like we used to either so on uh, De Gentil West and what is it? Marico? Maricot? Marico. Yeah. Marico. All these features I know very well because I like the color on that work. Jeep, by the way. I didn't mention it, but that color on that Jeep is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Wow. So every time I walk around here, I'm like, I know that street from a customer who did delivery. What the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah. That thing is a 4x4. Four four. Hey, I didn't tell you, that reminds me, my parents, my parents rented a motorhome. Oh, they yeah. rented a Sprinter, a big Sprinter motorhome cool. uh, for a week in uh, September. Oh, cool. They don't even know where they're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Go with the flows for the moment. Why not? You know, I told them, I said, you know where you should go? I said, you should go to Les Cantons de l'Est. Lots of beautiful little towns, you got hills. I one, man. Eh? I go to the shop. Buddy, look. You got a 911 there. That may be one of the first places I go with my car uh, when, well, after winter, because by the time I have my car, it's going to be almost winter. I'll probably go up to the that block. Love it up there. I could be wrong, but these look like World War II era built houses for the soldiers. They have exactly the same designs as the ones you see in Saint Laurent, Hochelaga, and probably a couple other places I'm not Boston. thinking of. Boston. Is that what I think it oh no, never mind. I thought I saw something. You know, I almost thought about taking my butt my bike out today. I told you that. I was like, ah, yeah. I probably shouldn't, I'm gonna pay for it and well, fuck that... it would have been perfect for that. The weather right now, you're not dying of heat or anything. It's perfect. It's great. Not at all. No, no, it's just fantastic. Uh, What's cool about that parking lot where I said there's a there's that old Volvo that's, that's sitting around? There's a, a couple of old uh, semi trailers in the back. It's just, oh yeah, it's an old school, or, or I'm pretty sure it's an old school, but it has like these, these old semi trailers, like an Allied van lines trailer. I remember when I went the back one time of uh, the uh, you know where the um, you know on St. John's there near the 20 next to the 20 there's the uh, the Point Claire shopping center. Yeah. And it's actually the second oldest one in, in the Canada. But if yeah, you go yeah. in the back, there's a couple of these really old trailers. Like I, I can't remember the name of the company it belonged to. It. Like, Fuck! And uh, they're uh, they've been there for look like a pretty damn long time, really long time. Yeah, at this loading dock for this like IGA or Metro or whatever. Oh, yeah. Look! 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 Now this is Saint Lambert, right? No. No, Marvin is still okay. This is still okay. Oh, they changed the signs. Yeah, they just started they're, they're changing the signs of those okay. certain places. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I know, it looks like Saint Lambert. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I filmed a walk here once. Yeah, you did, and you saw an old car through your video, video and you're like, oh shit. I was gonna, now I'm thinking to myself, yeah, he, he's guessing the old car, but what, what was the car? Do you remember? I don't remember. I took a, I had the luck actually of getting a 2009 bus. 
uh, on the 88 because all the other ones I saw were hybrids. Yeah, a good amount of hybrids. That thing, that thing has some power. Though. That, that guy was fucking booting that thing. They, they go pretty good. Apparently the, o, the 08s have the same engine. Apparently somehow they're, they're, maybe the gearing of the transmission is different. And they, they, they're a little bit faster off the line. This is the same bus. I just realized I think I'm still shooting on 400 ASA as I did last night. It's grainy. Hey? It's grainy. <laughs> uh, no, not that bad actually. Oh, it's not. It's not a tiny sensor either. By the way, I forgot to mention something. You know that corner of where we were, where you met me, where that that yeah. CJP is? Yeah. Well, there's that really weird and cool-looking uh, shelter, eh? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's and I'm and I'm like I'm like thinking, man, I would love to fucking make a, a painting one day of that with a new with a new look. Less that's not that's not even old. That's like twenty years old. I saw one today earlier. Was like mint. Look at this. What a weird place for a church. Man, that's weird. Yeah, we'll probably finish with that, I guess. Bah, that's not old. Oh, there was an older one there. It's not there anymore. Yeah, I probably went to cut up. Scrap. Scrap. <laughs> Scrap. Scrap. Ben's looking forward to work. He loves his job. Yeah, I have to say I do. He loves uh, wearing a fucking mask for eight hours. Oh, I, I, I deal with that. I can't, say, I can't say I love it. I would give you my other one, the one I have, but I need to keep it as a spare. I have two with me. Right? I don't even have two. I had it's another one. It broke. This weird spire they have, the weird steeple. This is very, yeah, this is very 60s type of design. I love that about these old churches. I've seen this before. You ever see that church there? Oh, probably not on Champagnard in the Park X. Whoa, very bizarre. Yeah, I think I know what very, see, very like it's all blue and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite high catching. Yeah. Actually, every time I go to Park X, I can't believe how many fucking churches there. It's incredible. I can't believe it for yeah. such a small borough. There's churches everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Wait, this is all part of that church, eh? Yeah. Oh, I guess we're gonna finish right here, guys. So again, check out my, my retro old school merch supporter, your your uh, your poor but uh, very outgoing artist who loves what he do, but don't make much money, and uh, and you get a little piece of me. And like I said, you're gonna see all kinds of uh, well, not all kinds yet, but uh, again, a lot of old classic art. Look at that. We what a great way to end with that cabriolet. That's a neat looking piece of junk. It is neat. Look at look. It's got fender flares on it. It's pretty neat. I saw another one earlier, but it was a cabriolet. <laughs> Watch out for that car there. Yeah, that's cool. It looked better without the bumpers, actually. <laughs> Not terrible. So, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, take care, and uh, like I said, check that out. You'll find a link to my uh, Teespring. Uh, I retro old school merchandise, and uh, you buy something again. Like I said, you buy a little piece of me. So, thanks again for watching. Take care. Say goodbye, Ben. Au revoir, bonsoir. Not even bonsoir. Good day, time. Bye.